Hello guys, this is Damian from forexbolt.com and welcome back to our video examples on the Live Forex trading account. We remind that the trade you will see here is with and only educational purpose. So currently I'm looking at the 5 minute chart of the British Pound American Dollar Forex pair. On the chart you also see a well known indicator called Bollinger Band. The indicator consists of 3 bands, the upper band, the middle band and the lower band and it measures price volatility. The indicator is based on price volatility and it basically says when the market is volatile and when the market is not volatile. In this relation, when the market is volatile, this gives indications that the price might be trending. So, this way we can use the indicator to identify volatile price moves and to hop into potentially emerging trends on the chart. So I'm going to briefly describe the structure of the indicator. The upper band represents a 20 day, I mean a 20 period simple moving average because we take into consideration past periods on the chart. Uh, since we have the 5 minute chart, the indicator, the upper band of the indicator takes into consideration a 20 period simple moving average and it adds to it the 20 period standard deviation of the price times 2. Conversely, the lower band of the indicator is a 20 period simple moving average, uh, which we need to subtract 20 period standard deviation of the price times 2. And the middle band of the indicator, which I'm going to I'm going to change its color now if I can. Try red. No, it's not how it works. I cannot change the color of the middle band, unfortunately. Uh, or can I? No, it becomes red, all of it. And the middle band of the indicator is simply a 20 period simple moving average. Simple. It's as simple as that. So basically, when the market is volatile, the bands of the indicator are white like here there is a very big vertical distance between the two bands and when the market is quiet the bands are tight like over here volatile market over here tight bands over here so in this relation i'm currently spotting a situation where the bands of the indicator are white and the price has just started trending in bullish direction at the same time, when we switch to a bigger chart, we notice that the price of the cable, the British Pound American Dollar Forex pair, has reached a four day high, which is an indication that the trend will continue. In this relation, I'm now opening a long trade on the assumption that the price is emerging into a bullish move. I'm buying half lot. Okay, here it is, my entry price over here. I just bought half lot. And now I am going to place a stop loss order below the last bottom of the chart, somewhere over here, which will also contain the lower band of the Bollinger Band indicator. I'll try to adjust my stop loss higher. Perfect. All right. So now that the price started trending in bullish direction, I assume that I'm about to catch a further bullish move on the chart. At the same time, I plan to stay in this trade until the price breaks uh, until the price breaks the lower Bollinger band in bearish direction. So upper Bollinger Band, lower Bollinger Band. Notice that I can also use the 20 period moving average, simple moving average in the middle to close my trade, meaning that if the price breaks the 20 period simple moving average, I can also use this as an exit signal. However, uh, this would depend on the situation on the chart and I would need to decide this on, a, on the moment and not preliminarily because situations on the chart are different. 
so we need to approach them differently every time. Uh, but why did I use a stop loss order when I plan to stay in the trade until one of the two levels is broken? The reason for this is that since the market is volatile, it can simply the price action can simply switch directions and shift from bullish to bearish direction, creating a big bearish candle. For example, let's see if I can find something similar. Similar. Yeah, take a look at this gap, for example, over here. This happens. This happens very often. And I would like to be protected from such volatile price moves, which is the reason why I'm using the stop loss order in this case. So my trade is now protected, but it is not necessary the, necessarily uh, needed that the price action hits the stop loss order to close a losing trade. Uh, if I see that the price is simply not moving as planned, I will close my my order without waiting for the stop loss to be hit. And for how long I'm going to stay in this trade? This is again something which I don't know yet because I need to see how is the market performing and how is the cable moving on the chart. So I will not have a certain take profit order in this case. So what I'm going to do now is to mark the levels of the stop loss order just in case in order to get my in order uh, to have them visualized in case the price hits my stop loss order for example here it is white color for entry point red color for stop loss order something like this Okay, and now I'm going to wait and see how is the trade developing. Uh, will the cable keep hitting the upper band while the two bands are on a very big distance from each other? If this keeps happening, that means that the price will probably continue trending in bullish direction. See that the price hits the upper band on white Bollinger bands on a big distance between them, meaning that uh, there is a big chance that the price is entering a bullish trend. At the same time, the 20 period moving average in the middle starts increasing as well. The price is located above the 20 period moving average. And uh, while the 20 period moving average and the upper band are moving upward, the lower band has been decreasing, which is a signal that the volatility is high. And since the trend is bullish for now, I believe the price will hold this tendency. At the same time, if the bands get tied, I will exit the trade. For example, take a look here. Take a look at this previous price increase. The price increased and then it started consolidation, uh, entering a range over here. And suddenly the bands got tired. It was the signal to exit the trade. So in this case, notice that when the band got tired, the price broke the 20 period moving average at the same time, which was the ultimate signal that uh, this impulse is done. So you can either exit the trade and collect from this impulse or stay in the trade because the price has not broken the lower Bollinger Band level, meaning that another impulse might appear. And when the price broke, the 20 period moving average over here again the band got wide again and this was a signal that the trend is getting resumed probably so i hope i explained you briefly what the bollinger band indicator is about and now i'm going to pause my video and i'll come back to you later to report your results from this trade Okay, guys, I'm back about uh, five hours later to show you uh, what happened to this trade. Unfortunately, I didn't manage to shoot uh, when I closed the trade because the price started shooting down real quick. And I closed the trade uh, right when the price crossed the 20 period uh, simple moving average, which is the middle band over here. Uh, notice that the price was trending in bullish direction, then it started consolidating and the bands started shrinking. 
So I used, since I saw that the bands are shrinking, I used the, the moving average breakout to close the trade uh, right over here when I saw a candle closing below the trend line over here. And until I start the video, the price shot down again. But fortunately, I was out of the trade. And now let's do the review and see that the price is shooting down, still shooting down. And it is trying even to break the lower band of the Bollinger Band indicator. But unfortunately, I'm out of the trade. Notice that the bands are getting tight, meaning that uh, the volatility has been decreasing. Uh, and the price is either consolidating like it did over here or uh, it is uh, totally changing direction. So I'm going to do some calculations now to, to determine the results from this trade. Uh, I entered at 1.2557 and I closed at 1.2578, uh, which is uh, uh, which is like uh, 21 pips difference, uh, 21 pips profit from this trade. Um, on the British pound, American dollar, forex pair, um, 21 pips are like 0 0.0021 from the exchange rate. And when we divide this number by the entry price at 1.2557, we get a result of 0 0.0016723704. And four. After I multiply this number by 100, I get my percentage profit from this trade, which is 0.1672%, which is approximately 0.17% profit from this trade. I'm writing it down. So 0.17% profit uh, from the capital invested on the trade. Um, notice that I closed the trade on the simple moving average breakout instead of waiting for the lower band to get broken. And the reason for this is that I saw that the bands are getting higher, meaning that the trend is either uh, the trend is probably getting exhausted. So this is the way, this is the right way to use the Bollinger Band indicator in this situation. If the bands were not tight, I would have stayed in the trade until I see the breakout through the lower level, which is currently happening, by the way. When I zoom in the chart, we see that the candle nearly, or it did close slightly below the, Bollinger Band, but the current candle that opened now uh, is uh, completely out of the scope of the two bands, meaning that the price can even switch directions. So with my trade, I opened over here and I closed over here on this consolidation. So, so I totally got this bullish price increase over here. Uh, notice that another signal that you can use to exit your trade is, for example, I entered on bullish candles, then another bullish candle, fourth bullish candle, fifth, sixth, and seventh bullish candle. Here there is something like a, a candle pattern, uh, which could be taken as a, I think its name was a three inside down pattern, um, where the price uh created a bullish candle then a candle that is with a very small body and another candle that breaks the low of the first candle very interesting candle pattern uh but i stayed in the trade because this candle pattern could uh, lead to a consolidation for example and uh the trend might get resumed afterward. And after all, this pattern did not get confirmed. Notice that no candle closed below its lowest point. So I got no confirmation for this pattern. So I expected that the price might meet the 20 period moving average and might resume uh, the bullish move. However, I saw the breakout and the shrinking band, which was the reason to close the trade and to collect the profit. 
So thank you very much for watching. This was Damian from ForexBolt.com. Looking forward to see you on the next live Forex trading session. And until then, I wish you happy and safe Forex trading.